Do we serve chopstick? Look how much sourdough you have on you. I know. It's all <laughs> over me. Do we serve chopstick? Napoleon, you have like three tubes right there. No, you don't. <clears throat> oh man, I feel weird sitting in this throne. <laughs> Look like I'm like either ready to play Call of Duty or fly to space. Oh, I hope you're flying to space. That's way cooler. Hello. Oh. Oh. We have. Well, are, are you ready? Yeah, ready. Do you have your list? Nope. Where is it? <laughs> over there. Oh, that's nice. You can just scoot on over. I'll scoot on over. Just scoot. All right. Hey everybody, welcome back. We took last week off. I mentioned in the written version of this, sometimes this will be once a month, sometimes it'll be every other week. Uh, if we have like something crazy particular to share, it might be more than that. We'll yeah. see. Um, and as we travel in the summer, it gets a little busier. Mm -hmm. So, But I just want it to be more we share when we have cool shit to share rather than like forcing it down your throats. Yes. Plus, you don't need to see us that often. Uh, anyway, it's the matchbook. We're back. It's dumping snow outside right now, and it's May something, 3rd? May 2nd. Tomorrow is the 3rd. Oh, so yeah. for you peeps, it'll be May 3rd. Uh, let's get into it, because yeah. Sarah might have to... Oh, man, there's just sourdough everywhere. Everywhere. Sarah might have to incorporate cheese into some beautiful dough, and she'll do it on camera if she does. <laughs> uh, but let's get into it. Do you want... How many do you have? Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, I'll go first, then, because I okay. have five... Okay. All right, number one, it's an article, okay, and it's awesome, okay. and it's what does the universe smell like? Ooh. So, what would you guess the universe smells like? I don't know why, but my initial thought was like electrical fire. <laughs> That's one of them. Huh. So it depends on what you mean by the universe. Okay. So like or space. So like space stations mm -hmm. reek because there's like seven astronauts cooped oh, up in yeah. a very small space. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, I wouldn't think that's, but, the, un that's no, not the universe. No, I wouldn't either. But if you think of like the emptiness of space, yeah. they have said astronauts have come back like when they do the airlock and they mm -hmm. say sometimes it smells like seared steak. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it smells like, um, what was the seared other one they said? Steak? Yeah, like, uh, like spent gunpowder. Huh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it smells like electrical fire. But then here's what's weird. As you get further into the universe... Where there's like molecular clouds mm -hmm. and things or like around stars. Some of it smells like raspberries or rum. What? Yeah. Yum. Molecular clouds smell like so, that. So how do they smell? Like how do they not know they're just smelling what's in their helmet? Well, no. So when they do an airlock uh -huh. and they like purge oh, after they're done with that, it. It, it, yeah. all of okay. this. Yeah. That makes sense. But then like, also. But then. Also, a lot of places, like a lot of different parts of the universe, are very thick in methane. So it literally smells like farts. Oh. So it just depends on where you are. But I like to think of raspberry rum yeah. as being a major part of the smell. But it's really That's interesting because they've asked a bunch. And here's a really crazy thing. Moon dust is highly allergenic. And there was like one really? astronaut who went on the moon and then came home and had like anaphylaxis to the moon dust. And then they, the sample that they brought back and is in the museum, like when they were putting it in there, people were having like severe what? allergic reactions to the moon dust. Remember when we made moon dust for the kids to eat to have I good drinks? I do remember that. So yeah, there we go. What does the universe smell like? It's just something that most people probably don't think of. And yeah. I thought that's kind of cool. cool. Also, look at this. In your, in your bank account, paperwork that came, they sent this weird piece of sort of perforated Whoa. so I can just rip each one off when Why I'm done. Why is it like that? I don't know, but I love it. That is so cool. Because now look, there was number one. Done. Done. All right, your turn. Okay. Number one. My number one is a YouTube channel that we just started watching oh. that is so enjoyable. I hope somehow he hears this. Oh my gosh. Um, it's called Cooking Something with Maddie Matheson. Um, he's the <sighs> guy, he's in the bear. Um, and he's a professional chef. Yeah. And he is 
absolutely hysterical. He's my favorite. Um, if if and, anyone out there knows him, oh my god, Claudette, if you know him, pl- I please put him in touch. Love him, especially. I could watch him. I could watch him do absolutely anything. In fact, one of his episodes was just boiling eggs, <laughs> and it was probably my favorite. Yeah. I laughed so hard. I totally And he's agree. just so endearing. And the coolest part is, so he was. I think it was in the egg episode. He was doing something, and the camera was zoomed in on his left hand right hand right right hand and i was like oh my god his his hand says riff and i was like does his other hand say raff and it does <laughs> it does he has riff raff tattooed on his knuckles that is so and awesome. i so badly want to do that i'm not going to but why not um not on my knuckles i'll get riff raff tattooed i'll get it with my you. knuckles but <clears throat> let's get it soon it's, yeah I'm it's so, so amazing uh Maddie Matheson, if you're watching, we want to be best friends, and I think we would be a good, a good group of best friends. Yes, I think so too. It's time for me to add cheese to my oh, already loaves. Yes. Oh my gosh. So Tyler, go ahead and. I'll well, I can't go ahead because I have to show you something. Oh. So let's just take a brief hiatus, okay. and we'll show you what it is involved. Okay. Do you need your gloves? I do. Oh, she's got her gloves. I have everything ready. Oh my gosh! Look up. This okay. is uh, hey Cambro. If you want to sponsor our <laughs> micro bakery. Because we're going to have to buy more of these today. This is one of Sarah's not included items, but should be. What is this? A 20-quart Cambro? Is it 20? I think so. Yeah. 20-quart Cambro made in Huntington Beach, California, home of the U.S. Open of Surfing. I love these. They're so much easier um, to do my stretch and folds in than... They are. The For those of you ones. who don't know, a stretch and fold, would you like to explain? Um, it's just... Well, I'll show you, but it's to provide strength in the gluten Ooh. of the sourdough. Um, oh, I'm gonna get, I just ripped my glove. Getting ASMR. Do you need a new glove? Yes, please. Where are they? On uh, top door. Right. Um, so this is four of my Hank cheddar sourdough loaves. And you'll see how much cheese goes into them. It's a lot. Thank you. That always happens. I need stronger gloves. Ew. <laughs> feel like old condoms. <laughs> oh, well, they wouldn't be very good condoms. Well, clearly. Unless you really wanted a baby. I don't. Okay. Um. So there's a lot of cheese going into this guy. How many loaves does this make? This is four. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Um, That's not even it. That's not even uh, a quarter of the one. cheese. Because what's the point of doing this if you don't put a lot of cheese in That's it? That's true. That is a lot, a lot of cheese. I'm just going to say it. I cube your cheese better because I provide a, a variety of cheese sizes. Oh, um, my From now on, I should cheese your cheese. I should cube your cheese. You Cuba Cheesing Jr. That's, <laughs> That's So Bob. when you're adding the inclusions, <clears throat> um, I do – inclusions is just like stuff that you throw into sourdough. Yeah. Um, I do it on the second stretch and fold. Ooh, this is like our own cooking show. <laughs> so then I just fold it over. Tuck so is the this a coil fold? Do you need no. a little bowl of water? Um, I kind of do. Are you good? I do, but I think it'll be okay. Let me grab that. Hey Google, tell Gus to pause. So I just tuck in all the little cheese. Cubes and tell them to be I love nice. Them just like swimming around here. <laughs> I know. On my little. It's gonna be an interesting matchbook today. Thank you. It's gonna be I'm a. I'm actually okay. It's gonna be a noisy one. Dough is so happy today. You do have happy dough. So that was not a coil fold. That was just stretch and fold. Because I have to tuck all the little cheese cubes in. Oh yeah. The coil fold is when you just loop it, and then you let the weight. Pull down and then you kind of fold it on its own. Ooh, like a little papoose. Like a papoose. A little papoose of bread. There you go, little Hanks. 30 minutes to go. That's a lot of dough. And What's our dough temp? Uh, our dough uh, temp is. Let me guess 71.6 degrees. 73. Oh, that's happy dough. Happy dough. Sweet. So. All right. Then I write down what time I did this. And it was a little late. Why was it late? It wasn't late. What time was it? Well, it said 
for, that was 40 minutes, but maybe it's because I, I What time know. is it right now? 10.40. Oh, weird. <clears throat> yeah. 10.4. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, do you have to do another thing? Um, no, not yet. In four minutes. Okay. <laughs> so you better just go. My number two, <laughs> my number two, there is a photographer in Egypt named Kareem Amr. Okay. Or, I don't know how to pronounce it. AMR. Um, and he is amazing. So I've always had a fascination with the pyramids literally ever since like Indiana Jones and National mm-hmm. Geographic when I was a kid. So this guy lives in Cairo and he takes pictures of the pyramids because it's his backyard, literally. And they are so stunning. So these are the pyramids of Giza in mist. And he oh. has a series of them. And he has an Instagram account, which I've linked. Okay. I have it up here so you can see Holy some of them. crap. So there's one. My favorite one is this oh, one. Oh my god. Okay. Those look not real. I know. There's another one. Look at that one with the sun flares. So he has an he has a a YouTube or I mean an Instagram account. And literally he just lives right there. So anytime oh. this light's doing anything cool, he just pops out and gets these photos with his telephoto lens. And they're just absolutely spectacular. And they just make me think of Indiana Jones. Oh, and I love them so, so much. Cool. So that's my number two. Uh, Kareem Amr or Amar. And it's all of his different shots of the pyramids. And they are stunning. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I love that. Okay. Um, my number two is I started a sub stack for my craft bakery. Welcome to the club. <laughs> um, so if you don't live in Helena, I'm going to try and make it a little more interesting for for the people who don't live here and aren't just like waiting to see what I'm baking. Yeah. So my original, um, well, the original reason for it, and I will continue to do that, is to let people know what I'm baking for the week and what days they can pick up um, and just things that are coming up. But I'm going to try and add in like recipes of other things that I'm making in the week and I don't know. Behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. And yeah. just like. I don't know. A lot of people Random are interested thoughts. in baking and in the world of that. And yeah. not only just that, but just like your life in Montana. Yeah. So I'll try and include some of that. Awesome. And so Tyler will put the link yep. here or here or there. It'll be above you. Oh, okay. Me. We are riffraff.com. Everybody should sign up. And people can also, a lot of people have been asking her how can they support her bakery if they're not able to have bread shipped. First of all, we, we are going to look into that because there's a way you can like half bake it and then and then send it shrink wrapped Mm -hmm. so then people can finish the bake at home i don't know how that'll work but we'll look into that but if you do want to support the bakery just like mine there is the way where you can pay for a subscription to her thing because then you don't really get anything in i mean you just get to help yeah if you do really really want to support but you can't and you certainly you don't have to to. but if you do want to people have asked that is the best way to do that yeah okay number three Stuff that the USA does that's normal to us, but is super weird to the rest of the world. Oh, okay. So apparently we do a lot of things that are real bizarre, mm-hmm. um, but these were just a few that people are like, and we know some of these because we travel a lot, but that people look at the United States and are like, what are you doing? Simple ones. Like one is we put way too much ice in all of our drinks. Oh, disagree. No, but like they think so. Because yes. when you go to other yeah. countries, they almost never use ice. I know, and I And we it. literally, well, but if you think about it, we kind of get hosed because yeah. you'll go to order a large drink and 80% of it is ice. And then you just get like a tiny bit yeah. of your drink over there. It's the opposite. Uh, advertisements for prescription drugs. They don't do that anywhere else, but um, everywhere you go, uh, every channel. I mean, if, I don't know if you've wait, watched. Really? They don't? No. Well, and if they do, it's very seldom, but I don't think they even do. But here it's like every single ad All on YouTube time. or on the TV or anything is that. Yeah. Um, all of our money is the same color, which is super confusing. Yeah. yeah. Over there, all the money is different, like in the euros yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, baby showers. Ugh. Other cultures find them extremely rude. They are, and they're so dumb. I and keep, you'll I mean, appreciate sorry. this one. I don't. Almost all of our bread that we eat here is sweet. Oh. And they don't know why. Like buns are sweet. And yeah. in most other countries, all bread is, I mean, most all bread is salty mm-hmm. and savory. Huh. Yeah, so those are just some weird things that. Have made... Well, even our bread that's not supposed to be sweet. It, that's what they're saying. Like yeah. white bread, super sweet. Tons of sugar in it. Um, and so what I was gonna say is this, and if anybody else has any other things that the United States yeah. says that's super weird, I would like to know that and 
I our obsession to... with peanut butter. That is a big one. That's... You can't even find peanut butter no. anywhere else. What? The dog's just busted through. What? Uh-uh. Nope. Out. Out. Ooh, Sarah's laying down the law. We're babysitting Myrtle again today. Out of the kitchen. My dad's going. Oh, if you're watching the Boston Red Sox game over the next few days, look for my dad because he'll be in the dugout or somewhere. So, so we're moving the bakery downstairs soon, yes. and it will be lovely because I won't have we won't have to make these barriers that barriers. keep the dogs okay, sequestered. Oh, again, okay, so. it's your turn though. I know. So this is another stretch and fold. Is this just normal this is bread? Just normal. This normal is, bread. Well, three of them will be the Howie, which is normal, and three are the Adela, which is a pain in the ass, and it's cinnamon and sugar. Named appropriately. <laughs> um. All right. Here we go. I'll so, help. Um. So my number three is. <laughs> Ooh, I like your number three. I think if I know what it is. Whoa. I've been trying Whoa, to... Whoa, look at that gluten strength. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to find a um, replacement for my beauty counter dew skin. Um, what is dew skin again? Maybe tell people oh, who don't know. So it's just tinted moisturizer with sunscreen in it. Okay. Because I don't wear makeup, but I like having tinted... Um, sunscreen. And why do you like the tinted? Because we live in Montana. <laughs> yeah, look how feel my arms are. <laughs> um, you're, you're, makes me look a little more alive. It looks like your dough and your and <laughs> your look, skin are the same match. thing. <laughs> yeah, that just looked like it was in my armpit. It wasn't. If you bought the, some of the spread, it was not just it in was my armpit. Not. It, it was, was at least two feet in front of it. <laughs> look at all the bubbles already. I know, it's so happy. That's amazing. Um, it's really bizarre how happy this makes me every time well not every time if the dough is not lately nice. every time she's yeah. kind of got it down she has it um, nailed now and her bread oven isn't even here yet so happy and she's still rocking it um okay so i'm gonna put this away and then i'll tell you about my number three do you want me to hold it up sure oh no you haven't okay, said what it is yet It's okay. First of all, I don't even know how much the other stuff that she was using was, oh, but it was so expensive. Oh, wow. In my ear. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. expensive. It was like sixty dollars or something yeah. for a tiny, for like a small little jar of this. Yeah. Um. So this is Cerave or V. Cerave. Um. Cerave. And it's hydrating sunscreen, mineral sunscreen. So. The things I like about this are that it's 30 SPF instead of 20. Wow. It's $12 or $15 instead of 50. And for more. And it's <clears throat> um, it's thicker. So, I mean, it's about this. Well, maybe even thicker than yeah. the dew skin. But I like that it's a little bit thicker. Because um, it almost is like foundation then. It's the good sun. It's titanium dioxide Ooh. and zinc oxide. Oh. Um, so... What anyway. is this that's on it? What is um, niacinamide? Oh, Sounds really it's good. It's probably cool. It's probably really Does good. Does it say here? Something. It, oh, it helps calm your skin. It's vitamin B3. Oh, cool. It's broad um, spectrum UVA and UVB protection. So I really love it. And um, Why don't I, I wear the happy. one with tint? You can. It would be weird in your beard maybe. Oh, yeah. You could try. Um. I just didn't want to have to order it online anymore, and I didn't want to have to pay that much money. Yeah. And so now I'm pretty sure I got this one at Walmart. Wow. Or they have it at Ulta or Target. Or Any Amazon. Those places, probably Amazon. Yeah. Um, cool, man. Yeah. So anyway, love that's it. my number three, and I love it. All right. My number four uh, is a YouTube channel. And it is the Beluga Lagoon YouTube Films. It's called Beluga Lagoon Films. Sorry, I'm uh, setting a timer. That's for fine. Um, so they are the ones who did the song Still, mm -hmm. which we posted last time, which we are still listening to. Uh, but they also have an entire film company, and they provide all, they do all of the filming, and then they also do all of the music, obviously. Mm -hmm. And it's almost, I think, it's all shot in Scotland. It's and so each good. one is just like the most ridiculous like there's one that i just started that i want to show you at lunch called beasties and places oh and it is just so gorgeous Ooh, beasties beast for what something for the thing that we're working on 
Oh, yes. That's the word. Yes. And it works with the bees. Yes. Oh, <laughs> something else is coming soon. Uh, anyway, Beluga Lagoon Films. Um, there's a link to it, and here's what it looks like. Oh. But uh, <laughs> give it a watch. If you really want to feel like you're in Scotland and Instead you just want to disappear, snow. it's such a good place. Um, yeah, give it a watch. Beluga Lagoon Films. I reached out to them on Instagram yesterday. And I said that we're blown away by what they do, and we're going to be in Scotland in October, and we want to buy them a pint. A pint, and they wrote back and they said we would love that. We love pints, <laughs> so we're going to hang cool. out with them in, in uh, October. Awesome! Yeah, I love that. we're coming for you, Beluga. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, my number four is super random, and it, nobody else will understand or um, maybe care, but just something that's happening in our life right now. Oh. So when this airs tomorrow it'll be today yeah um it will be vigilante day in helena montana and yes a vigilante is exactly what you think it is yep and yep we still have a parade where people um pretend to be vigilantes and um, so literally for those of you who don't know the history of vigilantes in montana back when we were just a territory okay we're stretching no just wait two minutes okay when we were just a territory in Montana, the vigilantes were literally a group of just normal people who decided to take the law into their own hands. They'd go around and just get people that they didn't like, and they would hang them. And the tree where they hung them just fell like not long ago. No, they, took or they it just down cut a while it down. Ago, no, yeah. it was like ten years ago. Yeah, and it's like over in a neighborhood it's right across totally the hill from us. Up. And they did this for years, and it was wildly illegal. And then Sir Thomas Francis Marr came in, and he like was like, "This is not okay." And then they almost killed him, and then they did kill him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the so fact we that we're honoring celebrate them, celebrate them for some reason, and even our new high school, the mascot is the vigilante. Yeah, I don't understand really how um, how it's a thing. Um, but anyway, and literally the floats. They've, I think they've maybe gotten a little bit better. They haven't gotten rid of the problem. Just, just so I can tell you, some of the floats that happen are like people being hung. Um, a brothel. A brothel. Where, pe- literally, where literally like high school, high school girls. girls pretend to be prostitutes. On a bed. Um, we've had, what are some of the other horrible ones? I mean, um, it is, it oh, is like, well, so Hen- embarrassing. Henry today, his float they're building is to honor the capture of the Unabomber. So they're like building the Unabomber's cabin. Oh I mean, it's God, insane it's so bad. that they still do so this. So they, they tried to make it like a little more PC by narrowing the um, categories. categories. It's still terrible. And if there, if anyone from out of town comes during Vigilante Day or like our friend Krista, they had just moved her from New Mexico, and they came to the Vigilante Parade. That's where we met her. And we walked over to her because we could just see her eyes like this, looking at everything going by, and her sweet little daughter is looking up at these high like school kids, kids being, being hung or prostitutes. And we're like, I'm so sorry. This is, this is really screwed up, and this is what happens here. But anyway... Um, that's what my kids are doing today. <laughs> and tomorrow we get to go to the parade. We'll share photos of it. They're time. literally building Wait two their minutes. Floats. Mine will be almost done. Um, you can wait a minute. It's not going to kill the bread. Okay. So my final one, because then you don't have to do a third stretch and fold on camera. Maybe four, everybody wanted that. Four philosophers on how to live a happy life. Oh. So it's four different like ancient philosophers and their thoughts and so my thought was, is if you just kind of cherry pick some of their ideas from each of them, you'll have a higher chance of living a happy life. So like one of them was Zhuang Zi, and his thought was the more spontaneous you are, the more chance you have at being happy because it opens you to busting out of routines. Mm-hmm. Um, totally agree. And Tistathenes, his idea was to live virtuously and be basically good and, okay. and avoid things. Okay, then the Epicurus was... His was interesting because he wanted to moderate, like, the pursuit of pleasure. Hmm. Um, It's okay to pursue pleasure sometimes, but if you're given a choice between satisfying desire or eliminating the desire, and this goes back into Buddhism, Mm -hmm. it is better to eliminate the desire than it is to just always try to satisfy it. Uh And then the last one, I can't remember his name, but he's on there. Um, His was, is if you ever have to choose between high pleasure and low pleasure, always choose the high pleasure. So high pleasures are, like, moral or aesthetic or 
ethical pleasures. Oh. Low pleasures are like lustful or whatever. And he's like, yes, lustful. The, all the low pleasures are still good. Mm-hmm. But if you have to choose between, the more often you choose the higher road, the more chance you will have at being a happy person. Oh. So it's just four different ancient philosophers, how to live a happier life. And I thought everybody needs that because it's been tough, a yeah. few few tough years. So live a happier life. And this is how. Yeah. And that's what we got. Um, okay, I'm going to stretch and fold my last one while we're... Donut napkins. Also, yeah. random shout out. Slow Loris in Washington made this shirt, and it's awesome. Oh, yes. And it's needed now more than ever. There's so much... I think so she maybe um, still sells them. I think she does. I'll link so to it. So this is Tyler's least favorite of the breads because it looks disgusting. It looks like you cut open a cow's stomach <laughs> after the cow ate a taco. But it's so delicious. You should show. Okay, this is the... Yeah. This is the Zapata named after, after our, our beautiful friend Claudette. Yeah, but show inside. Um, because like and it Claudette literally is gorgeous and doesn't. It literally look like does this. look like a stomach. I don't know if you can kind, of, you can't really see in this one because it's all. But it's when it does that. Yeah. Like show that. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able oh, to see God. It. I'll zoom in on it. <laughs> anyway, but that's all we delicious. got this week. Uh, this is a chaotic episode. <laughs> But we love you a ton. Maybe we should start recording on Wednesdays. <laughs> uh, we love you a ton. It's yes. dumping snow again. Ugh. Good Lord. May 2nd, 2nd and 3rd. And everyone in, in Montana says, yeah, but we need some moisture. Yeah, and I hate when people say that. Uh, anyway, we love you. Um, we'll see you next week, of course. Or n- not next week, the week uh, sometime soon. Yeah, sometime. And maybe we'll time it when it's not a... Dough day. So Although this was interesting. This it's an honest glimpse into our life. <laughs> okay. Alright, have a good time. <laughs> Holy and I will crap. zoom in on the torn cow stuff. Okay. Alright.